at something which is a first for me. <laughs> While I'm down this rabbit hole of <laughs> analog video on this phase which I'm going through, I have taken a big chance <laughs> on this thing here. The JVC HRC3, which is a VCR, believe it or not, yes, this small, it's a VCR. PCB Way have now become a one-stop solution. Other than doing high quality PCB boards, they now do CNC services as well as 3D printing. If like myself, you're into doing electronics projects and require PCBs, then do check out their services on their website. Now, to those of you who do not know, you'd have probably heard of VHS. And um, this is what we used to record video on back then. Now, for the camcorders, I've been using a compact cassettes, which are like a small version of VHS. Uh, there's a few formats like this, um, VHS-C, compact VHS, this 8mm, as in V8, this high 8 and which are both 8mm. Uh, so different kind of formats for camcorders. Anyway, this is the older one, uh, which is, yeah, the compact style VHS. Now camcorders such as my beautiful Hitachi VM600 take full-size video cassettes. Now you have other camcorders like my JVC GR45. This is the one I had back then, in the late 90s, and I mean this is an 80s camcorder, but I had it um, late 90s, early 2000s, this kind of era. Um, and these take compact VHS. So, yeah, this is a VCR for Compact. Now let's have a look at it because it's exciting me and I'm also nervous about it. I do have some nervousness uh, simply because I took a huge chance on it. I don't know if it's working or not. It's untested, right? But such a beautiful piece of kit, right? Because um, both when both the Rich and I saw it, both our jaws dropped because it's stunning. And there you go, what an absolute beauty. I just could not, I mean, we both just could not resist this. <laughs> and um, yeah, so let's a diddly little VHS. <laughs> just put it in like a normal VCR. And you have the controls here. This is a, basically a VTR. You can carry around with a battery pack at the back, right? And then you connect them to your video camera and they'll record. Now the issue I have here, which makes me even more, ooh, about this and more in suspense is that there is no DC input there's, there's no DC jack or anything like this it literally works fully 100% on a battery pack so there's no like literally no input power so it's purely portable now what I'm gonna have to do because I don't have a battery pack for this and I'm not gonna get one in order to test this I'm gonna have to open it out and mud this so that it has a DC jack on it Oh great, the window cleaner's come. And he just looked in the window and smiled at me. What do I do here? I'm getting nervous and shy. <laughs> Let's keep ourselves busy while he washes <laughs> my windows. <laughs> now this, the quality of it, the build of it and everything, it actually reminds me of the... Um... <laughs> okay, I'll start again. Now, the quality of this, the beauty of this, feels to me, personally, like it's in the same league as the Sony D6C. Because it's got the same quality, but more comparable to the TCD5 Pro, which was, you know, the larger field recorder, uh, audio field recorder, of course which I wish I had, and I almost had, <laughs> but, you know, I ended up getting this instead, the, the D6C. And these have become really sought after machines and really difficult to get hold of now. Now let's get under the cover of this first. Might even actually recap some of this. Oh, I can see two clips here. Oh, you know something? After trying to open this and unclip the freaking, I just did that. And the terminals are just exposed now. I could just simply solder onto this, yeah? <laughs> oh, it's so annoying. Because I don't want to open it for no reason. If it works fine, it works fine. Okay, so let's... So 
so that's ground and it's got some corrosion on it which I'm gonna neutralize with some vinegar right so it needs 12 volts 6 watts 6 watts when it's on its own right that's about 500 milliamps roughly um, I think anyway it needs 16 watts with a camera so that's like 1.3 1 1.4 amps roughly so that's with the camera so you basically it's a DT sorry VTR um, you connect to the camera to it and it powers the camera and it, you know it's the power source for the camera and also it takes the the video and the composite input and everything so yeah that's if it powers that it's gonna need that much for the camera so right now we're not gonna connect the camera to it we're just gonna test it right see if it all works so I'm okay with something that's like 600 milliamps or you know one amp well I've got a one amp um, wall board here which I can use for test sake Thin the terminals first. Freaking suspense. I want to know if this works. Sometimes we take risks in life. <laughs> it's like, what kind of fair risk to take? Okay, so the other end of this. DC jack, you can just screw in. Okay, so at least it worked. You can I can cover that up now. Okay, now let's see now if we have signs of life. Ooh. Turns on and turns off. It might need more power to be honest. Because it's actually affecting this. Okay, so I have a 12 volt lead acid battery here. 7 amp hours. Hopefully, this. Seems to work. Nice. Okay, we need to get this. Let's take that power save mode off. Because I don't know what that's about. It's going to learn about. Okay, so that's the power save switch. Power save off. Because I wanted to function fully while I'm testing it. I mean, it says, you know, it operates at 6 watts, but. Which is like 500 milliamps, um, roughly or 600 milliamps, but and that the, this um, thing, this wall fart, <laughs> wall wart, um, provides one amp supposedly, but I think this probably you know it, it needs a bit of an oomph to start up, which this lead acid battery seems to provide. All right, so got the monitor down. So video or composite out. Let's do video in on this. Okay, let's do this background. Let's kind of see if we get a picture out of it. Okay, so it's seems to it appears to be working I think it's just junk on this cassette now let's just record a little footage in fact I'm gonna put the the extension I have to this I'm gonna uh, put the extension on here and this is record a little footage seems to be recording oops Panasonic G1, it actually allows it to record it. So I'm gonna go around with this extra long cable here <laughs> and film stuff. Right, so at least with this, um, I can test record. So let's.
chocolate brownies I baked last night. As you can see, they're almost gone. <laughs> so they're a favorite. <laughs> this camera's not easy to hold still because it's like quite big and heavy. You know, VCR video cassette recorder and VTR video tape recorder. So I'm not sure why they decided to call it portable ones. These field ones, VTRs. Unless it's more to do with the edge rather than the um, oh, getting feedback. So I'm going to leave this here and I'll turn that off. Okay, I can actually turn it off. If I just turn the camera off, it turns the entire thing off. That's the thing, I only saw this all in viewfinder. Disturb you. Stick this. Now these are the chocolate brownies I baked last night. As you can see, they're almost gone. So thankfully, this works absolutely beautifully. And um, yeah, I can record onto and play back and record from my VHSC cassettes. And I am actually over the moon because it's a beautiful system again. It, it reminds me a lot of my D6C. If I had a TC D5 Pro 2, I would love that. But, you know, I have this and I'm more than happy with this. looking tapes here <laughs> but I don't have the heart to open them because to be honest just like VHS tapes these are a little bit dull inside <laughs> I think in some cases more so than um, the actual full-size VHS tapes so I'm gonna keep a lot of these in there you know until unless I really really need them so I think this Maxell I don't know there's something really pretty about it I mean, it's a JVC one here which is hidden by yours truly <laughs> the main host anyway the scotch one i find really cute there's something really cute about it because <laughs> i'm i'm used to seeing it as a massive um <laughs> vhs cassette but yeah i do have another one of these um so i'm okay to open this one i bet inside it's not as interesting looking <laughs> as the cassettes as an audio cassette yeah, just as I thought, it just looks bland. I mean, the sticker's not gonna be anything to write home about either. Yeah, it's just bland. Oh well. See what, get to see what the tape is like. These really are a bit dull. I wish I had some sort of color on it. <laughs> I know all the rest of them are gonna be the same. They just look bland inside. As you can see behind this, Rich and I are very much collectors of <laughs> cassettes and that's our shelf of sealed ones. Other end of this, so I'm just gonna go into the VTR bit. And that seemed to turn itself on <laughs> the moment I plug this in here. Actually, before I do anything, I'm gonna give this a bit of a head clean. It probably needs it. Start of the 
Ah oh, non, une petite chaise. Go on, get on with your business. <laughs> Oi. Interesting. The direct capture, of course, has more detail because its resolution is 350 TV lines. But despite the reduction to 240 TV lines, the VHS actually has a really nice color reproduction. It's a shame that SVHS came later than both this VTR and camera. Also, don't forget this is low light so the camera isn't working to its best to begin with. Anyway, I'm actually left torn here. I like the detail of the direct capture, but the color reproduction of the VHS recording... I much prefer. Did you light them straight? No, it's still the same. It's just not lighting because it's thick. It's not the same. It is, it's just not, it's not the same. This hold yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. There. Right. That's shut up. That's that was like matches. I warmed it up for you. <laughs> Get a new match and do a competition. Yes. Match lighting competition. He says I like matches weird. You do. I don't. You do. Go on. No, you go. Do it more. Go on. Okay. There you go. There you go. Oh, shut oh. up, freak up! I did it! So yeah. Shut up! You did it in about 15 takes last time. I can't believe we're having a match up. It's because she left it. I'm doing, doing this all my life. What are you doing? Lighting that is. <laughs> See, yours went out as well. Can Mine's... I light it? I've never lit a match before, guys. This one really looks like some matches. Oh my god, he really does. What a 
weird cat. Watch. Try to eat the last one. Try to eat ma lit matches. It does oh, smell wait. nice. Mm. Oh, was it a new one? Oh my god, it really does. What about this one? Because I just did it. So that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the journey with me and my beautiful JVC HRC3 VCR. <laughs> VHSC VCR. I'm so happy that you know, it all works. I've been in suspense for like, you know, a day. I got this like a day ago and I wanted to make a video, but I couldn't yesterday. Um, but yeah, I'm just <laughs> happy about it that it actually all works. So, thanks for your likes, your shares. Do leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my other videos and do subscribe for more. For now, I will say adios. Thanks so much to all my patrons for supporting my channel. Especially to you very kind top tier supporters of mine who deserve an extra special thanks. Rich Garbe, Axel Dominator, Electronscape, Aaron Metcalf, Corey Ostman, Starglider77, Mark Bosak, Starlight Minako, Chris Sebelinski and Veronica. Have a lovely evening everyone. Until next time, adios!